Nico Bellic. I'm here for an interview. Come in, I'll buzz you through. Welcome to Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister, sir. Mr. Bellic, welcome. I'll just see if Mr. Goldberg is available. Mr. Goldberg, Mr. Bellic has arrived for his interview. Okay, great. Uh, tell him to come through to my office. Would you please follow me, Mr. Bellic? Sure. Mr. Goldberg is such a saint. He teaches kids to swim, you know. He's just so warm and giving. All he cares about is making the world a better place. And boy, are you in trouble if you get in his way. I always get nervous before interviews. He's just in here. Don't be nervous. He doesn't bite. Hello, Nico. What's that short for, Nikolai? I'm looking for a man who can get jobs done right. Nikolai, I like your resume. You seem to be the sort of man who would go the extra distance. I just need to take another look. Get myself reacquainted with your experience. Sure, stand up if you want to. Whatever makes you comfortable. I guess I didn't get the job. Don't move. and stay down.
Here are the files. Great. Peace at last. I feel cleansed. You silenced Goldberg, too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He's done. Whoa, music to my ears. A weight has been lifted. Here's your payment. What's up, money? Not much. How are you? Chilling. It's all good. Well, mostly good. Mostly? Yeah. Dwayne's been getting on my nerves. Pushing me, man. But whatever. We spoke about that shit already. Uh, give him time. He's just out of prison. <laughs> For real. Listen, G. Dwayne ain't the only thing I got on my mind. No? No. Some motherfuckers been calling me a phony, calling me a snitch, calling me all kinds of bullshit. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. Damn right. Until I discover that same motherfucker, well, he's got some real loose lips. Not bad. So, you'll need this guy silenced? Yeah, he hangs out with his team near the courts on Exeter between X and W. Okay. What does he look like? Well, son ain't too diesel or nothing. And he a regular looking dude, know what I mean? Now he don't flash his guap too much, but you can see it in his eye. And he a hustler. Eh? <sighs> Homie ain't too brolic, but he ain't scrawny neither. And he be styling on him a little, you dig? I mean, he ain't too bummy, but he grimy too. So he's the average one? Look, he's brown skin B. Motherfucker be rocking baggy clothes, all that. Jewels and he stay fresh with the clean sneakers, know what I mean? And sometimes a bandana. Look, I need more than that to go on. Jesus! Here, take this. Head down there, take a photo, send it to me, and I'll point out which one of them motherfuckers it is. Fine. And that's a little gift for you. Penetrators ain't doing nothing this season. They got no one who can work the lanes, man. Shit, Lieutenant. That's something I was forced into from the necessity of my financial situation. My body is forced to rob and deal in order to sustain my own well-being and that of my immediate family. Take a look. 
Get your hot dogs here! Yo, money. Marlon's the one in the black jacket. Smoke him. Sure. Don't you fucking touch me! Who are you out for, fool? Got you all! That's why the penetrators ain't doing nothing this season. They Dead. You the man, son. You money. You my ice cold Slavic killer. See you soon.
naked bitches. Sorry, Brucey, man. I'm about to go see some naked women, but this time it's business, no pleasure. We have to hang out another time. See you. Jose, man. He's in the back, but he don't want to be troubled. You know how he needs to concentrate when he's counting up that money. Hey, I'm trying to count back here. There ain't no refunds or lap dances. Okay, that's it.
is Jose, man? He's in the back, but he don't want to be trouble. You... He done, I'm trying to count back here. There ain't no refunds on that, Dezes. I got a piece back here. for Dwayne.
Nobody's gonna be partying up in your club anymore. Playboy ain't gonna be happy. What do you mean? He still did business with the gangsters that took over. Screw that. They fucked me. They fucked. Right? Playboy gonna feel that shit. Sure thing, man. right now, man. Welcome. Well, hello. Food and a hand job? Here you go. Binge away. Bye. Come to Orch again. me to help out Dwayne. That's what I was doing. Don't help him out when it fucks up my business interest. Damn, son. That ain't cool. So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. 
Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin fucking <laughs> Hood. Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or we're gonna have to kill you. Well, since you put it that way, I mean. Right, good. all right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. Come on. let's do this. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, man. Yeah, fuck you. You have Take a Take us run. out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. Calculating route. Please make a U-turn where safe. A mafia-controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pecorinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader in my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. Please proceed to highlighted route. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Nico, stick fucking close to me.
trigger on this one. Let's go inside and find this money. Hey, Becky! I'll go get the money! Cover me! Fucking beautiful! We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the Angelotis don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. I don't fucking worry about it. Though this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays, it ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I tell you though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my case. I'll think about the money then. What a trooper. Jesus fucking Christ! Did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your share. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky.
yesterday and I saw this bitch coming out of nail place. She looked just like my old girl Sharice, the one you said you killed with Javon outside the arcade. You sure that was her? Dwayne, it was her. She screwed you over while you were inside. She's dead now. Shit, man. I could have sworn it was her. Sorry, man. She's gone. Maybe things could have been different in another life. Word. Conflict resolution in here, pal. Oh, yeah, beautiful choice. You treat her right, she'll see you through a shitstorm. Nico, man, look, I ain't a pimp or nothing. What are you talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but, uh... your meal, Fatso. Stop this madness! You win! Oh, Thanks I for know. helping us make this fast. You are wanting the sex with me? No, thank you. Right, then immediately right. 
sorry, man. I can't do a show. Right real estate deal go. That cat ain't got no vision. Wants to shut down the site and shit. Make it a memorial to union workers who died in accidents. And fuck this stuff out here. I got bigger problems. Come see me now. Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? Yeah, uh, yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. 
Uh, was I talking to you and Brett Halfwit? <coughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family, or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Baker Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Let's do this. All right, here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians. While Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First. You're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's P.E. 4, not C. 4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? The expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Let's make this clean, boys. No civilian casualties. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you's gonna get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door. Open the door! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it! Get on the floor! Now! But sir! You too! Okay, okay!
Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis, but this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here... Why we... are you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you. Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! Ooh. Fuck! Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! Shit! Michael! Saint fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids! We just want to take the bank's money and get out of here! I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys.
platform.
expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! Damn it. We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our ma. Neither do I. Damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. You've 
cross the line, Dimitri. together you've got that right if you want to walk out of here slav you're going to have to think about how you will pay your debt a friend of mine dmitry raskolov he would pay a lot of money for your cousin i'll get you the money just not that way i got to go back to the gym it really sucks oh yeah Only pussies put tobacco in their joints. I'm with you on that. we 
or we kill you! like a chicken this is it for you i'm coming for you enjoying yourself having a good day Ah! Who do you people think you are? is dead. I am not a fool. Thank you, cousin. You saved my life. We should get out of here. There's a car. Take me home, cousin. Never. 
reports of shots fired at the warehouse of Lompoc Bohan Industrial. What happened, Romy? You have been gambling. I give you money. How are you in debt? There are cycles, cousin. You must lose a little to win a lot. Come on, my cards were not good. Roman! That man knew Dimitri. He was trying to make me give you up to him. I would never... Of course you would not. Dimitri has taken this too far. He wants you dead. Bohan is not safe. I I'm going to get us a place in Algonquin. Are you okay? I'm used to taking these beatings, Nico. I almost expect it now. Wherever I go, there are people who want to kill me. Men who will kidnap me. I'll never marry Mallory. I won't be able to sleep with another college girl. There is a knife hanging over me. A clock is ticking. Man, this is out of control. I know. What are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to die. I don't want to die, man. Not like this. How would you like to die? Having a prison on my 100th birthday? I don't fucking know. I'm scared, you cold bastard. What are we going to do? I'm not cold. You're cold. All you care about is revenge and getting your own way. And all you care about is money and gambling it away on the internet. Oh, isn't America great? I get to sit in front of a computer and play Mr. Rich Man and get him to death with crooks. Okay, I messed up. I know I did. I thought things would be different. I, I don't understand this place so good. Oh, man, what are we going to do? Stop sitting in front of the computer gambling our money. Stop uh, getting into illegal card games. Stop spending all our money. Yes. Thank you. And stop thinking about the Russians, man. We just need to disappear as far as they're concerned. Disappear! Okay, okay. But I want Florian and Darko. I need to know what happened. Give me that. Fine. But leave the Russians alone. I was not the one gambling in their private club. I didn't know! I give a guy a break! Okay! Okay. Okay. I'm going to clean up. I have a nasty feeling I had a bit of an accident back oh. there. And Nico. What? Thanks.